What's going on guys, Tywin here, bringing you a let's play on a little game called Spiral Episode 1. Well, it's not very little. It's like almost 400 megabytes. And the graphics are insane uh, using the Unreal Engine. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I, think, I think you're really going to enjoy this. I'm having a lot of fun. This was just released on the 20th. It's a brand new game, but uh, very well done. So, here we start off. Uh, the main character is lamenting over some choice he's going to have to make and it's going to affect the entire world around him. Uh, and I'll start with a dream or a nightmare, blah blah blah, which is where the game is going to start. We're going to start off in this dream slash nightmare world. And apparently, we're gonna do something later that's gonna gonna affect the entire world as as our character knows it. Now, the first thing I noticed when I fired up the game after the huge loading time it took was the amazing visuals. The Unreal Engine they really took advantage of it, and they have this really cool art style kind of Japanese anime which I think uh, maybe this game is based on anime I don't really know but it definitely has that anime feel to it and it's a lot of freaking fun so what you, what you do you start off in the dream world and Ava, whoever she is, is trying to wake you up, get you back to reality. And this is the tutorial to show you the controls. What you do is you tap to walk, or you can tap and hold to continue walking, and swipe the screen while holding to change directions of your character. It's pretty simple. You know, much like Infinity Blade, just tap to walk. Although you actually get to a little bit of free movement, not really the, your the path, but you can double tap run or double tap and hold to continue running and then just moving your hand across the screen, moving your finger across the screen to control where he runs. And that's the basic movement control. That's all you need to know how to move. Our heart rate is rising, our brain activity is low, we're basically in some kind of, close to some kind of comatose state, and we need to try and get out of this dream world uh, in order to stay alive, basically. So we continue walking around this weird uh, dream state until we can find our way out. And she's about to give us another round of some emergency shocks. Shocking our system and we're like, hell no, ain't, like, ain't gonna happen. So, we are trying to find our way out of the dream before Ava shocks us again. Uh, presumably she's shocked us quite a few times here and we still haven't woken up. So our brain activity is beginning to increase, meaning we are close to getting out of this dream. So if we run down this last windy path here, we will exit the dream world and live to see another day. I want to thank everyone recently who followed me on Twitter, or who is following me on Twitter. If you have a Twitter and you want to follow me, it is at Tywin the Vial, just like my name here on YouTube. Uh, no spaces, just at Tywin the Vial on Twitter. You can tweet me about videos you'd like to see, games that you're curious about, Infinity Blade questions, Infinity Blade 1 or 2, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I'll answer them basically right away. I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot, so I will probably respond quicker than the comment section on YouTube, but of course you can always comment 
I'll make videos and I'll, I'll try and respond as quick as I can. That's that's always an option. But if you do want and have Twitter, you may follow me for some little conversation here. So we got out of the dream world and we woke up on this train. And Ava is asking us if we're okay. Blah blah blah. She's going through our near total collapse and basically Ava is a part of us. We've had some biological upgrades and she is inside of us. So if we die, she dies. So she doesn't want us to die, obviously. And I'm sure our character does not want to die as well. Now, unfortunately I was unable to get game audio, but the dialogue is delivered really well. All the voice acting so far is it's above average. It, it's very good. There's clearly high production values in this game. Like I said, it did come out just a day ago on 6 20 2013 and I think it's $5. Uh, I was really excited for a different game that was coming out uh, Thursday which was XCOM Enemy Unknown. But that beast is $20. So, when I saw this, and I saw how good the graphics were, I thought I'd pick this up for $5. We just had a conversation recently, Soldier for Good, Silver's a Beast, and Tam L from Tam L Channel. We were talking about this the other day, about how visuals are important somewhat in a game, but are, and are the control that I think is the gameplay more important and Soldier and I kind of came to the conclusion that really good control and really good gameplay can overcome less than stellar graphics uh, but Silver is a Beast and Tam L they were more leaning towards a good game needs to have good graphics uh, and good controls. I don't think Tam L will play any game that doesn't have great graphics. But I'll play a game that has subpar graphics, like Sword and Glory, for instance, if it has really good gameplay and really good controls. Luckily for you all, this game has kick ass graphics and simple but fun controls. So you get the best of both world both worlds. So a huge explosion just rock the train in the captain's quarters that we were just at so now we have to run back and see what's going on and the police officers in this on this train have no idea what's happening they are entirely clueless but luckily for them we're the hero of this story so we'll figure out what's going on and just save their asses for them so, basically, we were attacked by a terrorist group, and they are currently on the roof of the train, so now we are going to go up and have a little fight on top of the train, uh, you know, a classic action movie western movie whatever uh, fight scene on top of a fast moving train so as you see we can jump pretty high we just jumped to the top of the train and now we get to get our first taste of combat and the combat is pretty pretty easy you tap the enemy wants to do a quick attack. You continue. You can continue to rapidly tap on the enemy to string together combos. You can also hold down on one enemy for a heavy attack. The longer you hold, the, the stronger and different attacks you'll do. Uh, you can also hold down on your character to do a burst, a defensive burst, and blast everyone away from you, which I will show you in the next video. So, hope you enjoyed this first playthrough, and I'll be back with some more soon.